uh, I just did animations for him standing, facing in the four directions. You could do eight, but I'm doing four to save time. Um, you, he's standing in all four directions. He is walking with two animations in all four directions. I'm actually... Yeah, I should have done more animations. Whatever, there's two. If you can figure out... If you see how it works with two, you can add more to make it nice and smooth. And then two animations for attacking in each direction. Uh, I'm just going to get the top of his head in. So that at least I know where the top of his head's supposed to be. Actually, that worked out pretty well. I think is in the same place on all four pictures. So, here we go. For me, he looks all elongated. It's, it's weird, just because of the resolution thing. But I'll hope it works. And, you know what? He looks identical on each separate side. I'll just flip him. This is actually faster. I thought about making a guy that looked was looking straight down so that all I had to do was rotate him 90 degrees and wouldn't have to do anything special, but again, I said it would be comparable to Warcraft, and that's not how they did it in Warcraft. They actually took the time to do it each direction. And we got a dead one. Blah, he's dead. So, um, now I take, get rid of that, uh, gotta move some stuff, just get it all out of my way. Um, okay, now that messed me up once before when I wasn't zooming in. I was trying to do stuff, so I'm going to zoom in. Now, I made two copies. The reason is... Oh, and I need to mark the corner. I'm going to mark the top corner so I don't lose it. Actually, I should mark all the... I'll mark the bottom corner, too. There's a reason for that. I need to do a mask of the guy at the bottom. So I'm going to take the colors that I used on him and use paints, you know, nifty little tools. Basically when I'm done, this guy in the bottom needs to be nothing but the color black. And this is so that I can do transparency. It needs to know, like a shadow, basically. It needs to know what is the guy and then what is, you know, background. Apparently I used a dark blue on him there. Peach. And the blood. And the guy. Okay, now. Um, to quickly get rid of all the rest of this color, let me try this. Whoa, not. I did not mean to do black. Here we go. And then let's do the same thing with green. I think I got most of it. And the light blue. This guy got color stuck everywhere. Okay. Um, I think I got it all. Uh, yeah, probably. Okay. Now, copy this whole thing. Instead of putting it into the same data file, which I normally would do, I'm going to save this as, you know, data 2. Whatever. Data 2 works. Paste it in. I zoom in first to make sure I eliminate all the black, which means that I'm at the top corner is the appropriate top corner now. And there we go. Get the figures. I got more right there. And there. There, wow, I did a bad job of this. Okay, whatever, data two. Open up the project, 
copy this and it will now be our guy so let's do some code we gotta add the guy in we got buildings so let's do characters or actual guys um like a 300 unit limit or something wait one equals whatever soldier and worker um, I'm just gonna use generic A and B just because I've already got it and I'm going to use A2 and B2 to represent a destination we need unit team I was gonna use team because I already have B team so what so that's the team he's on, which again, one is human, two is a computer. Um, health. Uh, I guess that works. Yeah. Alright, um, I've got to draw a building, I'm going to need to draw a unit. Just for now, I'm going to put temp A is 0, temp B is 0. It's, I'm just copying what I already had. So A and B. S width and height are 30. Okay. The reason I'm leaving temp A and temp B here is because this is another one of those that's complicated, you're not really sure which one it's supposed to draw, and it's going to be based on a lot of things like what direction he's facing and what animation he's on. And that reminds me of those two more variables I need for units. A, uh, a and A, that'll be his animation, and uh, D, whatever, for his direction. Wait, wait. Um, just for code, let's make sure I got this lined up right. Um... Let's say one is down, just because it's the way I did it, and then up, right, and left. So basically I did the whole thing wrong. Um, let's see. Yeah, I'll admit I'm a little off on what I'm supposed to be doing here. Let's see, I should probably put some, I need a way to put guys in. I've already got a couple of the building types, which you know what, I never did make these for the opposing team. So it's 56, 57, and 58. Let me test this and make sure this works. 5, 6, and 7, 8, 9, and Maybe the zero doesn't work because I've got the wrong number. I put the key code thing back in so I can see what number the zero is. 48. Wow, what well, do you know? It makes sense. So one less than the other one. 48. For zero, I got the other farm. Okay. Put in all kinds of guys. Now, um, for putting in units. We're out of numbers along the top. So let's do... Figure out what the Q is. 81. 